Today we are not going to be traveling very far. Today we are going to travel into your excellence. And you will discover that excellence is not some sort of a high state. It is simply what is left, your natural state, when we undo any self-doubt. And it is in the state of excellence, when you really excel without that little voice that tells you that something's not quite right, that you can truly start enjoying that what you do. So relax your body and enter your own very being. Enter your being beyond all the good ideas about how you should be, what you should be doing and how you should be doing it. And simply let go, let go, let go. Let yourself to be listened and let yourself to be breathed without needing to make any effort at all. And in your own time, when your eyes need to get some rest, let the eyelids to close. Excellent. Let's feel what that word brings in your body. What kind of touchy feeling it brings to you. It is not some sort of ideal potential. It is not a state which we need to achieve after we work very hard. After we learn some skills. Even though that could be too good. And excellence really looks very different for everyone. But at its core, it is undoing what's in the way, rather than adding anything on top. And that undoing is all about your self-doubt. Because whatever it is that you do, without doubting yourself that perhaps you could do it a little better. You are not in the zone of excellence. And without it, it is simply your true nature. And from that place, whatever you do, it is pure excellence. Because it really cannot be compared to anything else. We doubt the self-doubt. Even a baby is excellent in whatever it is that it does. And so, what is really in the way? That creates 
that self-doubt. What is really in the way is uncertainty. When we are not certain whether that that we either do or want to do will bring us any great results, or at least the results that we are expecting. If we are not sure, if there is this sense of uncertainty, it creates so much self-doubt. And it has nothing to do with your abilities, with your skills, or even with the results. It has everything to do with your imagination. Because uncertainty, as we often imagine, is not just nothing. Nobody has ever been afraid of nothing. When we are uncertain, we simply imagine the worst case scenario that will happen in the future or some unfavorable scenario and we are not even aware of it and we are reacting to this image that is deep in our mind. And we are trying to protect ourselves from that imaginary image to happen. So see, uncertainty is a kind of insanity or the fear of uncertainty is a kind of insanity. And so what is the same look at this? It is simply recognizing that uncertainty is an open, blank state full of possibilities. It is so empty that there is no space for imagination. It is truly being a state of not knowing. And as such, in such a state, there is openness and expansiveness. There is a thrill because we don't know how things will turn out. This is the only way to be with the truth of it. Because no matter how clever our mind is, we can never know how things will turn out. And even if we had the best guess, we don't know what that will lead to in the future. We don't know what that will lead to something else one year from now. It's just one imagination after another imagination that takes us away from the truth. From the simple truth that we don't know. And in the state of not knowing, when we are connected to the truth, when we can really see it for what it is, when we really look, the self-doubt simply disappears. It cannot exist. It only exists in the darkness of our ignorance. And without it, what is left is enjoyment. 
because without uncertainty, there is no enjoyment. We have to have uncertainty, otherwise, it would be an unbearable bore, whatever it is that you do. If you could always predict what it will lead to, you wouldn't even want to start. Where, where is the enjoyment in that? Where is the enjoyment in playing a game when you know you can win every time? And so uncertainty is the doorway to excellence. Being able to embrace it, being with it, recognizing it as for what it is. Knowing that there is no way to know how things will turn out is stepping back into your childlike self. With such curiosity, with such openness. Really wondering. I wonder what happens if I do this. And I wonder what happens if I do this. Step into a special place, a special state in your mind that is not only reserved for geniuses and highly skilled people. It is a space where there is no failing only learning, just like a child. It is a space of enjoyment, a space of deep relaxation and relief from all the strains and effort and comparing and tweaking and trying so hard and giving up or resigning and essentially doubting ourselves. It is a space for miracles. It is the space for the unexpected. That's what true excellence is. And you are it. There is nothing that needs to be added to what you are. The way you breathe right now is excellent. Because you're not thinking about it and you're not comparing it to anybody else. And you're doing it so perfectly. The way your toenails are growing right now is so excellent. Without that, doubt, so is everything else that happens. Without that interference of the mind, that that tells you true you are not complete. There's nothing is and without you, it, you it, 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 it is simply so true nature from the truth and from that place the way you breathe whatever right you do is excellent from the simple truth that we don't know thinking about it, it, it is pure excellence because it you really so cannot be compared to anything else let it melt and into your body state of not knowing when we are connected to the truth and when you can really see for what it is, when we really look down, 
the self-doubt simply disappears and cannot exist because that is only exists simply melting in darkness of our ignorance. What you truly are.